Boom! What's going on guys? Another video off the old Maskey channel and here I have something very special. Usually when I do reviews I'll do like guitars or you know gear or something or it's usually something music related but for the first time ever I'm going to be doing something gaming related. So without further ado I am going to be reviewing this amazing item. This is called a Switch 64. Now the creator, his name, it's, it's you know, it's going to be a little hard to, you know, pronounce. I, I don't know if this is X3D, uh, but underneath it, it's X-A-L-T, Zalt 3D Designs. And basically what he's created here is a Switch dock. And to put it very plainly, it, uh, it has four... Nintendo 64 controller adapters. So if you have the N64 uh, NSO package on your Switch, you could basically use N64 controllers on this. So before I go too far with this, um, this is how I'm going to break it down. First, I'm going to break down the thing completely. Uh, I'm going to show you that it indeed works. And... Um, finally, I'm going to give you my conclusion on this. So, here we go, guys. I'm very excited. It's, uh, something new, something different. And, uh, yeah. So let's go right to it, shall we? Alright, guys. Now, let's break this down. What exactly is this? So, like I said before, he is calling it the Switch 64. And what this is, basically, is a Switch dock. This is a Switch dock. It fun functions exactly like a Switch dock. It has a little port right here for charging, as well as a 1080p uh, HDMI output. So, you, this goes straight to your television. You could choose to do that. It charges your Switch as well. And it also has an option for an additional USB charger, just like your regular uh, Switch dock. So basically, you know, if you want to boil it down to its simplest thing, this is a Switch dock. This could be replaced for a Switch dock. Now what makes this special is he has it rigged in the front, so he's got two Mayfair uh, N64 ports. So what that is is basically he rigged it to basically uh, read the N64 controller as a USB controller. So when you plug this in, you can use N64 controllers on your Switch NSO package. And that's really it. That, you know, it's an extremely simple concept, but this is something that we've all wanted or thought about for a while. It's like, man... I love the NSO, you know, me personally, I'm a huge Nintendo 64 guy, so when I saw that was coming to the Switch, I had to get it immediately. However, I'm like, this kind of sucks, you know, like I would like to use an original controller, you know. Uh, and then they came out with the wireless one, and you know, it's, it's cool, but it's also $60, and it's like, well, am I going to invest a bunch of money in the NSO package when, you know, we all know Nintendo, they might decide to just turn it off one day you know so it's like i'm gonna have all these controllers that i can't use in the future you know how far down the future we don't really know so this is an just a beautiful alternative to that question because you can just like i said you could just plug in your n64 controllers four it's got an option for four and it charges your switch you know like any switch dock would so um, when you get this, uh, you get this through his Etsy page. I'll have everything linked. I'll have his name and his website, everything here. And basically, when you choose, it explains everything that I explained in the description. Um, but you can choose your colors, too. He's offering, um, he's offering you the choice to basically choose your colors. Now, it's obvious that I chose a color scheme after a very popular N64 color scheme that already exists. But he has options that you could change the top to basically any color. He's got like ice or translucent, I guess. And you could choose a, any other color for the base as well. So it's like already, you know, he's giving you all these options. This thing absolutely works. And... Um, 
he made an he made it and shipped it in a very very timely manner which was very important to me as well so yeah that's pretty much the breakdown um there's not much more to break down it's very simple it's got an hdmi out, uh, hdmi out it has a charging you know cable for the switch um it's got one usb out to charge controllers and it's got the four n64 ports and this is also important for noting is you can connect this without having it plugged into the wall so you you know you dock your switch on this you hook up an n64 controller to one of these ports here and it doesn't even need to be an hdmi out it doesn't need to be plugged into a wall this thing can play uh the nso uh, games on the switch while it's docked without an out so you could play straight from your switch just like that you just put it down put your switch on there and then you could play it which is amazing you know it means that uh you will be running off of your switch's power however you know you always have the option to just plug this back in the wall so that's the breakdown right there let's move on to a little demo of the actual play All right, guys, we're going to go into basically how it works. As you can see, at the top is where you would put the switch. There's the port, and then you have the four, uh, the four little ports here for the controllers. So, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's extremely simple. You would basically just go into the switch menu, and here I got a, got a controller here. You just plug it straight in there. And boom, you got your controller. Let's see this. So if you are using it from the handheld mode, you would just basically enter your N64 NSO. You would just place it down on the dock. Let's see. I'm doing it from a weird angle, sorry. Alright. And then basically you would then go to how to pick your uh, your controller and you'll see that it goes automatically into a USB mode the N64 controller reads as that so you click A and then there you go just pick your game and then you're in that's how you would do it from the switch being docked uh, without an HDMI out. It still works. Alrighty. So now what we're doing is testing the Switch 64 uh, on a large television. So, as you see right now, there's no switch in it. You've got the HDMI out there, as well as um, the power, power supply. So let's, uh, let's test it out. Let's put a switch on it, shall we? And see, right there, it functions already as a regular dock. You can go into whatever you want. Um, yeah, it's basically a regular switch dock until you go into here. So as you can see, so as you can see from here, I have a regular switch controller, uh, switch pro controller, moving all of this, but you obviously want to use an N64 controller, so I'm going to plug one in. You plug one in, and then it automatically says that there's a second controller coming up basically as a USB controller. So with your regular controller, you go over here to one player, and then it basically allows you to select which controllers you're going to use. So you hit A, shows up as a USB controller, and there you go. I am using an N64 controller to move all of this. 
So 100% works. Let us go into a game. There you go. As you can see, I'm moving it with the controller. There's absolutely no delay, it works exactly as it should. So let's say you're done with the game, right? There's no home button on an N64 controller. So that's when you would go to your regular controller, your Switch Pro, or your Joy-Cons. And then you would get out of the application, cancel it, and then if you wanted to, go back in and pick a new game and basically start this process all over again where you can go ahead and just pick whatever game you want your N64 controller should already be the first controller in the signal chain so you don't have to do it unless you pick you know unless you add more controllers to the equation All right. Now, let's wrap it up. Here's my conclusion, my analysis here. Um, I absolutely love this product. Um, granted, I haven't had it for very long. I haven't played it for very long. I've played it like maybe four times. It very much works. Uh, will it work later down the road? Well, that's just a matter of construction, you know. But this seems to be very, very well built. It's very durable. It is 3D printed, you know, so you just got to be careful with it. But it absolutely 100% works. And uh, yeah, I mean, my analysis is that this was a product that is, it, it's extreme luxury. It's extreme lux luxury, you know? But if the NSO package is something that you use a lot, like me, it makes sense that you would want something like this, you know? Bringing something like this to a person's house with four controllers, you'll be the king, you know? You hook this up to their TV and you have the option to use actual N64 controllers. You know, it, it's like you're back in the 90s all over again. And uh, to me, this was, you know, very important to get. I, I love this thing. I can already see the future when I invite people over. And yeah, my overall analysis is I got exactly what I wanted. This thing is fantastic. You'll love it. I do have a couple criticisms. Um, so my only two criticisms is, um, you know, this is probably not him. This is just probably how the Switch is, uh, you know, uh, made. But when you plug it in, you have to basically have it already in the... Uh, N64 NSO like screen with the game picking or you have to have like uh, a wireless uh, you know switch controller already attached so that you can go to it because once you're in that screen the uh, the N64 controllers that are attached to this basically read as USB controllers and they cannot they don't have a home button so they can't go to the home you have to just access it through you know a different controller that's like you know for the switch or if you have it in handheld you could just use the actual you know uh, joy cons but so it's a, it's it's just like one little extra step basically so when you are playing a game and like let's say you click into like i don't know let's say star fox and you're done playing Star Fox with your, you know, N64 controllers, there's no way to go back to the title menu, so you have to reconnect again a wireless uh, switch controller that'll take you back to the menu. You have to cancel out of the cancel out of the application, go back into the menu, and then start this process over again. So again, it could be a little tedious, you know, but honestly, when we hop onto there, nobody, you know, you usually pick your game and you stick to it. Maybe you're playing like one of the Mario parties and you switch over to the other one or, you know, any of the other ga games that they have to offer. But um, it's it's not a deal breaker. It, it sucks a little bit, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. And then finally, um, when you are in that NSO N64 uh, screen, um, you have to reassign the controllers. That's one thing that I found. I was confused. I'm like, oh, why is this controller acting as player one? So when you are in that main, you know, 
menu about to pick your game, you go over to one player or two players, and you have to basically change the actual uh, path of your controllers so that the N64 controllers are moved into the exact slots, one, two, three, four. And then uh, when you do that and you click into the game, the Switch controller or the Joy-Cons that you have attached will automatically turn off unless you're using it. So, it you know, once you figure that out, once you work with it a little bit, um, it's not a deal breaker at all. It's a little extra tedious, but it's fully worth it for something like this. And if you are playing with just you and another person, this won't be too much of a problem. You'll just have to go through that process every time, close out of the application, go back into the application, you know, choose your signal path for your controllers, and then pick your game, which, it, you know, it sounds a lot worse than it is. It really isn't. And uh, other than that, you know, that's really it. Just the way you go about it. Again, it's not really his fault. It's kind of just how, you know, things work on the Switch. Um, the only, uh, the only constructive criticism I did have for the actual dock itself, though, is the little, the space where um, the switch meets the actual dock to charge. It's a little tight, so, uh, you know, you kind of have to, like, force it down a little bit, but that seems to be, uh, I'm, you know, I, I do have a screen protector on my switch, which might be the reason why it's a little harder to push down, but, uh, yeah, if I had one constructive criticism, it's simply that, uh, if that gap was made, like, maybe a couple, you know, centimeters, maybe a centimeter, like, bigger, you know. But, uh, other than that, I'm very happy with this product. Um, you know, I'm making this video to send you guys to him if this is what you are looking for. This is exactly, you know, this is exactly the product for you. And, uh, yeah, go give the man business. It's, it's, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm happy with it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, guys, thank you for watching my video. I'm going to put all of his information in, uh, in the video description. And, yeah, you know, there's p people like this guy who made something beautiful like this. And you should support it because, you know, that's how awesome stuff gets made. You know, GoFundMe, Kickstarters, people just make awesome stuff. You have to support it or we just don't get awesome stuff anymore. So, all right, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.